Rheumatoid arthritis. It is an autoimmune disease that causes inflammation in your joints. This means that your immune system starts attacking your body's own tissues. Rheumatoid arthritis causes inflammation in the joint lining. This results in red, painful, and swollen joints. The redness is caused by the flow of blood increasing. As a result, the inflamed joint may feel warmer than usual. Inflammation is caused by extensive migration of neutrophils, B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, and certain cytokines like IL-1, IL-6, IL-17, IL-23, TNF-alpha, etc. in the joints, leading to swollen, painful joints. Common symptoms. Common symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis include joint pain and swelling, stiffness, inability to make a fist, tiredness, fatigue, myalgia, less commonly, weight loss, inflammation in the eyes, dryness of eyes, sicka symptoms, scleritis, episcleritis, etc. Rheumatoid nodules, fleshy lumps below the elbows or on hands and feet, inflammation of other body parts, in other words, lungs, leading to interstitial lung disease. Rheumatoid arthritis varies from one person to another, but it usually starts quite slowly. Usually, it starts in the small joints of the hand and feet, later involving large joints as well. You may also feel stiff when you wake up in the morning. If you have painful, swollen joints and stiffness in the morning that last for longer than half an hour, you should see your rheumatologist. Research shows that the sooner you start treatment for rheumatoid arthritis, the more effective it's likely to be. So early diagnosis, better the outcome. If not treated properly, if not treated properly or there's a delayed diagnosis, this can lead to irreversible joints damage which in long term can lead to disability. Common deformities, swan neck deformity, buttonhole deformity, Z deformity, ulnar deviations and many more. Outlook. Because rheumatoid arthritis can affect different people in different ways, we can't predict how the condition might develop for you. 75% of people will continue having some joint pain, swelling, and flare-ups. 20% will always have very mild rheumatoid arthritis. 5% will develop severe disease with extensive disability. Seek help from a rheumatologist. How is rheumatoid arthritis diagnosed? No single test can give a definite diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis in the early stages of the condition. Doctors have to arrive at a diagnosis based on your symptoms, a physical examination, and the results of x-rays and blood tests. Tests which can help to make a diagnosis. ESR and CRP can be raised but not always. RF, IgM, usually positive but always remember that negative results do not rule out rheumatoid arthritis. Anti-CCP, usually positive but always remember that negative results do not rule out rheumatoid arthritis. Note. Rheumatoid arthritis is a clinical diagnosis, so always use the test to help to make your diagnosis. The test can be positive in a small number of healthy people as well, so use these tests judiciously along with the clinical history. Do not rely on the test without a typical clinical history. X-rays of hands to look for erosions and joint damage, but remember that they are usually normal in the first year of disease. Treatment options. Regular physiotherapy and footwear are necessary. Four main groups of drugs are used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Painkillers, analgesics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DMARDs, conventional methotrexate, leflinomide, sulfasalazine, HCQ, biologics, TNF-alpha blockers, in other words, adenarecept, adalimumab, etc. IL-6 inhibitors, in other words, tocilizumab, B-cell blockers, in other words, rituximab, IL-17 inhibitors, secukinumab, inhibitors of Janus kinase pathway, in other words, tofocatinib, low-dose steroids. Remember, most people with rheumatoid arthritis need to take more than one drug. This is because different drugs work in different ways. Patients taking any disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DMARDs, should have their baseline test including cell counts, liver function test, and renal functions test every four weeks initially for three months, followed by every one to three months lifelong. Because DMARDs take some time to start working, you may also be given a steroid which can reduce the inflammation and ease your symptoms while the DMARDs are taking effect. 
Regular follow-up is the most important part of treatment. The safety and efficacy of drugs needs monitoring at regular intervals.